Doug from SoundPure AES New York here with Max Goodnick of Avid. He is head of product management at Avid and we're going to talk about some of the high points of, well there's a lot of high points, but some of the basic high points with the new Pro Tools 10, some of the hardware that's coming out and how we're going to be able to get you guys into some of this hardware without breaking the bank. So Max, let's talk about Pro Tools 10 first. Uh, what are some of the big things that are happening with that? So Pro Tools 10 is a really exciting release, Doug, because we have um, a lot of great new features, over 50 new features in Pro Tools 10. Things that are really going to improve the quality of life of our users. So you have features like the new clip-based gain feature, which allows you to adjust gain and do automation on single clips. You have um, a 24-hour timeline now, which has been a commonly requested feature. You have real-time fade, so you don't have all those fade files anymore. All these kinds of things that are gonna save our customers time and time is money and so it's going to save them a lot exactly. of time and they're going to they're going to just enjoy you know it's it's like if Pro Tools 9 changed the world we say Pro Tools 10 kind of made the world a better place right so all the types of features that really make the system perform better mm -hmm. and get to the end result quicker so our customers can be more creative excellent excellent i know some of that is also with using the ram to cache and which makes everything just much yeah, more so efficient. Have, so there are two performance things. We completely rewrote the disk scheduler, which is how Pro Tools accesses the disk, and that, that has improved performance greatly. But to your point, the thing you're talking about is something called for HD customers extended RAM cache, where you can take advantage of the 64-bit environment and actually use the extra RAM that you have in your system to create a cache and put all of your session into RAM, which makes it perform super quickly and responsively in a way that we've never been able to see with Pro Tools. So customers are just really blown away by the performance. They feel in some ways like Pro Tools is kind of sitting there waiting for them as opposed right, right. to you waiting hit play on and it's like okay, okay, and everything begins and that's kind of been erased with with some of these upgrades. That's right. It's just instantly responsive and everything just again, much smoother, much faster. Uh, our customers will feel way more efficient using the app. And with all the new features that go along with it, like the ability to have multiple audio suite plugins available at the same time open, and audio suite handles so that you can continue to end it, editing after you render, these kinds of things are things our customers have been requesting for a long time to help make them um, you know, faster, better, right, right, more, more efficient. efficient. Exactly, now, I know the 32-bit and going floating, now that's something that is being talked about a lot, and it's kind of hard to, to, to put it into words, but it's going to sonically make Pro Tools sound better with your mixes, your plugins, everything. It's giving everything more headroom. Right. Well, it's, it's, it's even a little bit more than that. So what we did, even with the native system, when HD Native came out, is we came out with this new engine architecture. And you, we, you saw a lot of people were saying, man, HD Native sounds better than TDM. Right. right? right. We heard a lot of that. Well, so in the HDX, we have that same architecture now with a 32-bit floating point mixer and 64-bit summing. And so there's, you know, a thousand dB of extra headroom. So you'll never clip again, which is right. huge because right. the gain staging in Pro Tools HD was always problematic for a lot of our customers. Now they'll never have a problem with that. And the sound quality is literally night and day. It's as big a difference as like our new converters made um, in the analog to digital section. This now internally, when you're mixing internally, is like another huge leap in sound quality for our customers. So we're really excited about that.